Pancake better be in there. <laughs> Why are you filming this on the internet? Like, it's not good. It's hilarious. mood today i literally stretched in bed like a hundred times i'm looking crazy this morning i had to wash my hair last night and then go to bed because we went and had a fire in our backyard which was so nice it was so warm yesterday and last night it was crazy so that was perfect holy shit I love possums, it's the best day of my life. No, you don't. Like, That's so weird. <laughs> Look at its tail. It's like a giant rat. That rock. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> um, we hung out with some friends, it was really nice. Just chill, have some laughs. Um. Welcome to a new vlog. Today is February 20th. It's family day, so everybody's off, pretty much, uh, unless you're like in the service. I am just sitting at my desk and I'm doing a task that I've basically been putting off forever. I have all these like bags of random beads that I've like done stuff with or broken down some semi broken down necklaces. So I basically just need to just separate all this stuff because every time I make beads and I've been making more like cool kind of mixed necklaces and stuff, I just like don't understand or know or can see what I have. So that is what I'm doing right now while I just like watch some YouTube or I listen to like podcasts i'm trying to listen to some more and get back on kind of like a mental health podcast vibe because it really is helpful my boyfriend like had a conversation with me the other day and was like why don't you listen to more like gary v because i always feel like i'm not doing enough at 30 and i'm like failing the whole thing you know i like basically feel like I was set out to do more <laughs> it's so cheesy and selfish sounding but I don't know I worked my ass off as like the first one to go to college in my family and like I just feel like I'm not really doing a lot but I am basically not doing the things that I thought I would be doing I assumed society society wise that I should be doing like career babies house I just don't I don't want that I'd love a house baby is not so much Ask me in another 10 years, we'll see uh, my last leg of being able to have kids, but I don't really want kids at all. Expensive, and they're annoying. I'm gonna try not to look so dead right now. Anyways, don't want kids, don't want to climb a corporate ladder, that's just not where I'm at. So today, I'm just gonna sit at my desk, get some work done with the beads. Really get them organized so I can start building some more chains because I really want to start doing some markets in Toronto this summer and sell. I just like, I changed the name, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I changed the name from Dear June to Endless Summer, just makes way more sense and I've been trying to figure out a name for a really long time. And I'm finally really happy with this one. I can like visualize merch. I can see it all. I want to add like things to not just making the chains, but um, like hats, maybe towels, kind of like beachy tote bags. I have a tote bag design in mind. Um, yeah, so plans. But I have to break all this crap apart, which is going to take literally forever. I think I'm gonna just leave this one because I don't really want to take it apart. 
Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong. Marvala. What else? I'm gonna give you guys a little thrift haul for the week. I have so much stuff that I've thrifted. It's actually nuts. I should probably just do a separate video, but I think this will just be a long vlog. So strap in. That'll be fun. There's a lot, a lot of stuff that I need to go through and show you guys because I feel like I got my thrifting mojo back. I feel like I really lost it there for a minute. Anyway, we are into February. I'm probably gonna go back to work soon. I think I'm gonna talk to them and see what's up. Now that I'm feeling better. Oh yeah, I had like a UTI from hell. I don't know what the fuck happened, but like that was the worst. I literally never get them. So yeah, but then I also found out that I have a fibroid on my uterus, which maybe it was a blessing in disguise because I don't think I would have been tested otherwise. But now knowing that like it's so common that women have these and that like it said like 75 to 80 percent of women will have a fibroid tumor which they're like benign tumors but they're still problematic my sister had one that was so big had to have surgery to get it removed after she got pregnant because it grew but yeah women should be like freaking tested for these like like a regular pap test i think like an ultrasound inside should be part of that so that you can figure out if you have a fibroid because they could be really problematic if they grow really big especially like mine's attached to my freaking uterus like that sucks i don't think my sister's was attached anyway blessing in disguise to know that i have that now i can just like deal with that and monitor it and know what's going on and yeah we're gonna try and go away this week and then I'll go back to work and get back into the grind, you know, making that cash money. Okay, saving for next year, hopefully for the trip. And maybe we're hoping to tack on Australia because I really want to go to Australia because I want to move to Australia. But um, yeah, we're thinking maybe we'll tack that on next year and just make it a little bit longer of a trip because we're gonna need it after the last few years and now this crap. You gotta be kidding me. Any hoozles, welcome to a new vlog. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying them so far. If there's anything you wanna see or anything you guys like out of vlogs from other people, let me know. If it's my vibe, I'll add it in so that we, so that you're entertained. <laughs> But yeah, if there's anything you want to see, like makeup routines or like, I don't know, literally anything. Just let me know. I'm open. I want this to be like, I want my vlogs to feel like you're like hanging out with a friend or like FaceTiming your friend and just chatting. Because that's what I like to watch. Thanks for being here. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. What are you doing? Just do it. Oh, we got the couch. Very excited. I just need to sell that freaking dresser. I cannot believe it. I put it on Marketplace for $200. Put on Kijiji. I put it on Craigslist. Like, somebody tell me how no one wants this dresser for nothing. <sighs> so annoyed. Anyway, can't wait for this to be all cozy. Because the second you de deploy selfish behavior is the second that you're losing other people's attention. And let me promise you one thing. I'm doing nothing by accident. And smart winners can smell it. And I promise you, let me give you a really bad business. Selling to losers. Ty and I are going out for dinner right now. We were going to go to the East End to go and have Asteria, which is like... A Greek restaurant I've been going to, it's not like, it is a Greek restaurant I've been going to for years. I used to go there with my ex-boyfriend and his family all the time when I was like a lot younger. <laughs> and it's so good. And I used to just keep going after even though it was like hard post breakup at the time. <laughs> but it was just so fucking good and I'm so sad. But they apparently retired in May, which I didn't know. So I never got to have one last meal there. They literally had the most iconic tzatziki 
ever. It would like make you stink. It was so garlicky and perfect. <sighs> We're so sad, but instead of going to the East End, because we could have went to Messini's, which is always a classic. We're gonna go over to Sugo, which is one of our favorite places in Toronto. Their rigatoni, that Caesar salad, the burrata. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> it is so good. I will show it to you, I'll be. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do, we're starving. We we're gonna go grocery shopping today, but that didn't pan out because we just got to doing too many things around the house and now we're tired and starving. It's only five o'clock, but we're gonna go for dinner. I'll show you my outfit. Ready? Yeah, two seconds. Okay. Let's go. Snagged this sweater, public butter. Dreams are forever, you know? It's good. And then my new chains coming soon. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Like Tyler looking like a snack in that coat. Regular sugo is so good, but honestly, leftover sugo. It's got a spot in my heart. It is Wednesday, twenty second. I spent the whole day booking flights with Tyler. We're going to Mexico. We're very excited. We were gonna go to Mexico and meet up with some friends. Um, and kind of like tag along on their trip because we really didn't know what we were doing yet. The couples from our friend group are going to different parts of Mexico. We were trying to see like what trip made sense with the timing we wanted. So we're going to meet some of our friends, but we're going to like, they're doing Puerto Vallarta and then they're going to end in Mexico City, but we're going to go early and go to Mexico City for like six days because we've never been. It's not like super hot in Mexico City, but we really are like craving some serious culture, some travel, some adventure. So we want to do Mexico City and it's like, I'm such a foodie, like I cannot wait. And then we're going to go down to Puerto Vallarta for like five days. It's like an hour flight and we're going to just chill on the beach and I'm really excited. Puerto Vallarta actually like looks pretty decent. I've never been. I've only done Merida and Cancun. Merida was like, seriously, if you could go anywhere in Mexico, do you want to do like a city? Like Merida should be one of your top choices. It is unreal. The Yucatan side of food is like so fucking good. We had the trip for our lives when we went there. And Cancun, the beaches are really nice too, but Think it's a little scary. Anyway, Mexico vlog is coming. And I have six days to get abs. Think it's gonna happen? After I just crushed Sugo for the second time? Probably not. But that's okay because like Sophia Loren said, I would rather eat delicious pasta and be a skinny bitch, you know? I really want to do both though. But anyway. We're very excited. Oh my god, I look crazy. We're super excited to finally have a plan to go away again. And then I'm gonna go back to work. Which I'm looking forward to, to be honest, to get out of the house. <laughs> 
kind of make some money because we've bought a couple things for the house that I am now this trip. And I also just booked tickets to Arizona, which weren't that expensive. And we just have to pay for the flight. My friend's parents have a house there, but still. It's shmoney, baby. And it's going quick. Speaking of spending money, we're going to the grocery store. And we always pick the most inconvenient, beautiful day. It's literally a snowstorm outside. And they called for this and I woke up this morning and I was like, bullshit, what snowstorm? And then at four o'clock, it just really started snowing a lot. So, <laughs> stupid. Let's see your beard. Can I see your face? Your eyelashes, oh, I guess you. It is Friday, February 24th. Um, Ty and I are gonna go over to Yorkdale Mall. Just trying to look for anything kind of remotely beachy. I really don't have dresses, and that's kind of the thing that I want to stock up on this year. So I just was kind of browsing around to see if I could find any, and I still really can't. I found a couple on sale at um, a. The Bay is having like a s insane sale right now. It's literally buy one, get one free. Like you could buy a pair of Ghani boots. Not like, you know, classic black. They have like the white, green, and pink. I actually really like the pink. I think they're fire. And you get like a pair of Ugg slippers for free that are on sale because they're a lesser price. It's nuts. I had to hold myself back because we are going away and I want to buy cool vintage in Mexico. I'm just going to do my makeup and try to look somewhat alive because I literally look like a ghost right now. Uh, it's so cold today. <clears throat> it's like, I think minus 18. <laughs> that's what it feels like, so that's good. It's not like minus 18 feels like minus 30. It's just, I think it's like 9 or something. Like minus 9 feels like minus 18. I don't know. Something like that. But that's still effing for raising. I'm so obsessed with curling my lashes. I just like can't not now. I actually really like a curled lash and no mascara, which is what I might do today because my eyes are gonna water so bad with it being cold. Such a bad eye water problem. I'm having an anti-mascara moment. Okay, I got in the mail. A look at from Merit. They reached out and offered me a few products, which was so stinking nice of them. Oh, my Sephora order shipped. Monday, perfect, perfect, perfect. I actually was like about to order off of Merit and then they reached out to me and I was like, hold on a second, what did I just put into the universe? Um, so I'm very excited to try something and see how I like the brand, but honestly, most importantly, is the fact that it comes with this bag on your first order. This is very chic. I was very curious of what it would look like in real life. Real life? Real life? I've seen it a bunch on the internet, and honestly, it's giving row. It's giving the row vibes. Like, how chic is this as a clutch? Like at a wedding? Done. So cute. I love the slouchy, like, look. This is very up my street. Wow, I'm see-through. The color also, stunning. They also do free shipping over $40, and that's like two products, so that's not too bad. Yeah, I got a lipstick. And let's see. Oh, packaging is done. Wow. Wowzers. That's really pretty. Um, this is the color Fashion. It's like a berry color. It certainly was not my first choice, but it was all that they had left in terms of lipsticks. But then I did get my first choice in the blush which is a new shade called Fox and it's so
so pretty. I've seen so many people put this on on TikTok and stuff, and it's like so gorgeous. And I don't normally go for a color like this. It's sort of like a brownie color, but I've seen it go on the skin. It doesn't look like that intense. So I'm excited. I'm do a little cream bronzer. Uh, oh, it's falling out. Put that on first. Bring a little life back to this face. But yeah, I might honestly bring this bag to Mexico with me as a clutch <laughs> at the beach. Bringing life back to the face. Feels good. I am a bronzer gal through and through. Let's try the blush on now. Again, it's the color Fox, which I believe is also a new addition. I always go for like baby pinkies and like this is about as dark as I usually go. So that's different. Oh, Jesus. But I thought, oh yeah, this is super pretty. I feel very tanned. Can you see? I like this so bad, sorry. That's pretty. Do I can't find my spoolie. This one is gross. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of gel. I'm still not sure how I feel about this Anastasia gel, to be honest. Like, I've gotten the hang of it, but it kind of leaves like a white film on your lash, on your brow hairs, which if you're blonde, maybe not such a big deal or like really light, but like I have pretty dark eyebrow hair, so. I don't know. I'm gonna use it until I'm done, but I'm still trying to find the perfect brow gel for me. Okay, I think I'm gonna use Whirl from MAC as a lip liner just to like, not a lipstick girly, like by any means. I think they're usually too much fuss. Whoa, who, whose lips are those? That's wild. Okay, let's try this lipstick. Again, this is the color Fashion. The lip liner it does not match at all. That's because I don't normally go for a shade this color. Mm, yeah. The product itself is nice. It goes on really smooth. I don't know what you guys think. I am not a lipstick gal at all. The color is pretty. It looks nice with like dark hair and pale skin for sure. I just don't know if I would gravitate to putting it on every day. I'd probably save it for like an occasion or something. Because lipsticks are just it just seemed like a lot of work, but it is nice once you've like softened the color out and it's not so intense. More of a stain rather than a lipstick. Yeah, it's pretty for sure. It's a nice color. Not what I would have went for. I probably would have done like the color baby, which is like a neutral pink. But you get what you get, honey. Anyway, so cute this honestly this is the best it's so cute i love this bag and it's free that's wild today is having the craziest sale right now it is buy one get one free any price just as long as it's people or lesser Hello! It is Saturday, and it's about to be the most hectic thrift haul you've ever seen. <laughs> okay, first off is this freaking amazing sweater. This will be in no order. I may not remember where things are from, but we're just gonna do things. This I got at the Hippie Market in Toronto last weekend. It was 50 bucks, 
but I'm totally willing to spend that money, support the brand, the vintage seller, um, and like the quality, and this cardigan is really soft, and like can you even with these butterflies? <laughs> Grandma era unlocked. My floor is a chaotic mess. Okay. Next thing that I got recently is this knitted crochet Eddie Bauer, which I would have never expected, but I believe it would be 90s Eddie Bauer, and by the tag. But it's so cute, and I was initially going to sell this, but now I'm taking it with me to Mexico, because hello, red Mexico, baby. And I think it'll be perfect for, like, the beach at night, a little something that you want to put on, but you don't want to be too hot or, like, even during the day, walking around Mexico City. Just a little something something. I hate that I just said that. I got this sweater. I got another sweater This with this at the same time from Public Butter. Public Butter is my favorite place. I won't gatekeep because it's inexpensive and they always have stuff and it's fine. But like, keep it on the download, you know? Anyway, this sweater is freaking amazing. It says dreams are forever. <laughs> and they are. It's so good. Oh my god, it's so funny. I left it there because I was like, I don't know, is this like too cheesy, too childish? And then I texted it to my boyfriend. They never got back to me, so I left the store and then he was like, Are you stupid? Like you should have bought that. And I was like, fuck. Okay. So I went back the next day and got it. I recently picked up this little guy. I don't know if I've talked about this in a vlog yet, but um I went to LA and they had this little bag, literally exactly the same. A smaller strap, kind of. I probably would have been like that. Um, and it was teeny tiny little palm trees everywhere. And I was so mad at myself for not buying it. It was like 65 American from Reformation Vintage. You know, that's really what was like, why the hell would I pay that money? It made me upset. So I walked away as a vintage person, but I really regretted it. But then, you know, you manifest. You put things out there into the world and they'll come back to you. And I got this little palm tree bag for $3. So, I can live with that. These together would also be so cute. What else, what else? So much stuff. Um, I know there's things here. I've been trying to like buy millions of these little man's vests, suit vests, to try to find the perfect one because I really don't want to spend the money on one from the store. But by the time I buy all the ones that aren't the right one, I could have just bought the store that probably fit perfectly but i'm trying to stick to vintage and so far i've only spent like six dollars because i think they're each three i bought a smaller one i bought this one i don't know they just don't fit perfectly but this one i might get altered but these two sweaters sweaters yes you know what i hate is people that call it a gilet oh, i don't know why that makes me so upset and also the tank top and they call it a singlet i don't know what it is but those irk me they like scratch a part of my insides that just it's like my spine crawls i don't know why i hate it so much uh this leopard vest i love it i think it was like six bucks and then this guy very like gives me lucy williams whom i adore i love her her style is so british chic but yeah, this is like super fun. I don't know. It's a little small, so I'm not really sure how I want to wear it yet. I got this couch, which I've probably showed you. Amazing. Um, I think these are the only shoes. Oh no. Ugh. I got these Asics, like literally brand new. They're so dope. Those are for the gym. Then I'm like completely obsessed with metallics right now and I feel like I'm gonna have a very metallic summer, silver and gold. So I found these, they need a little love because the inside is like, I don't know, it's not like sealed. So they kind of move around and they hurt your foot a little bit. So I just kind of have to glue them down, which is a bit of a project. And I also think I'm gonna cut off this like strap because it doesn't really fit perfectly. And I don't really like a back strap. I prefer a mule, if anything. And I did that with the last pair of metallic shoes I have, and I love them. The other ones are, like, cheap from H&M that I bought in New York, which, like, really sparked my obsession with metallics right now. I'm so not a silver girly, but apparently I am now. This is from my brand. 
Mixing metals, guys. Just do it. Feels good. I bought these Adidas shorts. I think they're gonna be kind of fun. Like mix with like a blazer. Like streetwear and like a little upscale, you know, like a little chicness. I don't know. I have a vision. This is a very recent, but I bought another button up. I love this color. I'm not a blue girly, but I'm turning into one. I guess I have to show you this, even though it's like the biggest, bulkiest thing ever. But I bought the most unreal fur coat in like the most unreal condition. It's perfect. Fits me perfectly. Every button is perfect. There's not a single piece of like fur coming off of it. It's just amazing. And I don't know if I'll ever wear it until I'm 90, but that's fine. I got a set of these stunning, like, lilac-y, pinky purple wine glasses for, like, $2 a piece. So I think I got six. Oh, my God. Like, I was manifesting colored glassware for the bar. And look at this. Like, hello? so cute perfect size what else there's so much else like i have been doing some serious searching over the last few months and i haven't sat down to do like a thrift haul i found these pendants up north and they're like glass stretchy kind of string i had or i think i bought it at the dollar store but anyway this is so in right now and i couldn't even believe that I bought these or found these. They were like six bucks each. But they're literally perfect. It's not even my style. I initially bought these to sell. So I'm probably gonna sell them because it's really not my like taste, but they are so sick. I forgot I did buy another pair of shoes. These brown boots, which are kind of cowboy-esque. They're a little bit not a little bit, they are. They're tight on the calf, which isn't what I was looking for. They're also a bit short. Not my favorite boot of all time, but they were like $6, so I couldn't say no. So I do, I like them. They just have to be worn in a certain way for me to be like confident, but they're really comfortable and they're really short, so I couldn't say no. Okay, well, that's all I can think of right now, and if I find other things or think of other things, I will just add them. So it is Sunday, the 26th, and I would come in here and say goodbye. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I have absolutely no idea what I'm about to edit. I didn't really vlog all that well this week, but I had a lot going on, you know. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you stuck it out till now, I'm all packed. I don't have much room for anything else, so shopping in Mexico should be quite interesting. May have to ship it home. We'll see. I don't plan on going crazy. Like I really am very selective with purchasing things these days. I'm very much like it must stand out and it must be great in order for me to pay money and um, add something to my wardrobe. It just it's gotta be it's gotta be worth it. So I'm gonna try my best not to over shop. But whenever I see things like that. I usually find stuff, but I am very, very excited for the vintage scene as I hear great things, and yeah, we'll see if I can fit it in my bag. Might have to buy something that I check on the way home. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys. I got my nails done. They're short, but that's the way I like it since I'm beating. I did two coats of Funny Bunny and then, why do I always forget what I do on top? Ballet slipper, bubble bath. It's cute, I like it, it's neutral, which is what I wanted. And then I did 
a little pink toe action. A little like pastel-y Pepto-Bismol pink, which I think is cute. But yeah, that's that. We are off to Mexico tomorrow. I'm very excited to vlog Mexico, Mexico City in particular. It's gonna be a lot of delicious food and cool stuff to do. So stay tuned. Pray that I'm good at this. I really hope I can kill it. I'm gonna try to get Tyler in on the vlogging. Try to get him to help out and add his two cents. But yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe before you leave if you enjoy my rambling, I guess. Anyway, toodaloo. Hope you're well. Stay well. Bye.